Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for June the 3rd, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, in documents released ahead of an FDA Advisory Committee meeting, agency staff questioned the benefit and safety of Sprout Pharmaceuticals Flibansaren. If approved, the drug would become the first therapy authorised to treat hypoactive sexual desire disorder in premenopausal women. In addition, Sources suggested that Teva is looking to increase its stake in Myland to around 4.6% as part of its ongoing takeover battle. The people noted that a stake of this size would allow Teva to have standing in Dutch court to potentially challenge Myland, which has so far refused to engage in talks. Also featured, RD Lix will pay at least $25 million to terminate an agreement with AstraZeneca, regaining rights to the NHE3 inhibitor Tenapanor. RDLIC CEO Mike Rabb said the company can now accelerate the clinical development of tenapanor in constipation predominant irritable bowel syndrome. In other news, an FDA panel will discuss a filing on July the 9th seeking clearance of Eli Lilly's Nesitumumab for patients with non-small cell lung cancer. Cohen and co-analysts estimate that if approved, the therapy will generate sales of around $500 million in 2020. And finally... Amicus Therapeutics submitted a marketing application in Europe for its Fabry disease treatment Megalostat. The company noted that the potential brand name for the drug Galafold has been approved in the EU and the US. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.